everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title, this is a holiday look. I went with a lot of sparkle, a lot of shimmery colors, and um, a red lip. Of course, it's very typical, but who doesn't love a red lip? Um, I tried a little different things like as far as instead of black liner, I used a brown shimmery um, eye pencil. So um, I'm not going to really ramble on, I just want you guys to enjoy it and if you want to see how I got this look then keep on watching. Okay to start things off I have already applied my e.l.f. shadow lock eyelid primer in the color sheer. For my crease color I will be using the usual covergirl true blend minerals in 435 and I'm just going to sweep that back and forth in my crease. I really love this color it has not only the bronzy color but it has a shimmer to it which is perfect for this sparkly holiday look. The brush that I'm using to apply the product is from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stuff May palette. It's the blending brush that came with it. And what you do to one eye, you know you must do to the other. And I am pretty sure that I am not the only one who has this problem, but one of my lids are definitely smaller than the other, which is the right one, so I have to overly compensate when I'm applying my makeup. But anyways, I am using some clear scotch tape for this look because I just want everything to be clean. Next, I will be taking this eyeshadow color from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Self Made Palette in Treasure. And it's really pretty. It already has a shimmer to it. And I'm going to take that color and generously apply it to both my lids. And the brush I'm using here is an eyeshadow brush from Vander. I know that that eyeshadow from Anastasia is already like shimmery, but I want a more intense shimmer and glow. So I'm using the NYX Ultra Pearl Shimmer um, Shadow and it's in Nude. And I'm just going to pack that on top of Treasure. I'm picking up the Anastasia blending brush again because I really want this look to be seamless so I'm just blending everything out. For my lash line, instead of the usual black eyeliner, I am using this NYX pencil in bronze shimmer and the number is 932. I decided to keep the tape on for this part because I just want to make sure that my line is as straight as possible.
for my lashes, I'm using the Demi Wispies in black from Ardell. They aren't as bold as I would like them, but they're just going to have to do for now. To apply them, I am using the Duo Waterproof Eyelash Glue in Dark Tone. I'm trying to get the lashes as close to my lash line as possible because I'm not using the black eyeliner. And now time for foreless I'm using the matte and poreless fit me foundation from Maybelline in Toffee Caramel and the color is 330. I'm going to stipple it and then swirl it out with my flat top kabuki brush. For my concealer, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Ginger, which is medium too. I will be applying that to my under eye area, down the bridge of my nose, in the middle of my forehead, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin. And I'm going to use this damp beauty blender to blend everything out. To contour, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in GC981. And that will be applied in the hollows of my cheeks, also around my forehead, and down the sides of my nose, and also a little bit in my cupid's bow. I'm also going to apply that on the sides of my chin to make my face look a little more narrow. I'm going to be taking the damp beauty blender again and just going to blend that out.
And to set everything, I'm just taking some translucent powder and applying that to everywhere that I apply some concealer. I'm going to use a cosmetic wedge to apply the powder under my contour line. For my waterline, I'm using this white eyeliner pencil from Ruby Kisses. And right underneath that, I'm going to be using that NYX Brown Shimmery pencil that I use for my eyeliner. I'm going to take that under that white. And of course, my bottom lashes cannot go untouched, so I will be using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara for my bottom and my top lashes. And everywhere that I contoured, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl bronzer on top of it. I didn't want my blush to be too much so I'm using the BH Cosmetics Blushed Neutral Palette in this light peach and I'm going to apply that ever so lightly on my the apples of my cheeks. And now for my favorite part. Well, one of my favorite parts, I'm going to use this dark red pencil, this lip liner pencil, and I'm going to line my lips to be my base for my lip color. For my color, I picked this up at Sephora the other day. It's the Stilla Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the color Fiery, and it is so gorgeous. And this look cannot be complete without the highlight. So I'm using the Becca Cosmetics highlight and I got this from Sephora. Also, it's the Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Highlight. And to apply it, I'm using this fan brush that I also got from Vander. I'm going to apply it on the top of my cheeks, um, on the middle and the end of my nose, and also a little bit on my cupid's bow. I 
I'm going to apply some of the highlight in the inner tear duct of my eyes to brighten them up. And I'm also going to apply it on my brow bone. And that will complete this look, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed filming it. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one.